Hi, I'm Adam with Beds by George. Today we're going to show you how to properly attach a Haven canopy to a Haven frame. All right, step number one, after you've gone ahead and assembled the base of your bed and you've gone ahead and assembled your framing onto the top of your base, you're going to need to attach the Velcro, which attaches the canopy to the frame to these metal poles. I've got an example here. When the canopy comes, it's going to come in this bag. And you're going to have both sides, the hook and the loop, attached to the canopy itself. You're going to want to remove that hook side of the Velcro and remove the taping here that's attached to it. And then you're going to want to secure it to all of your horizontal poles. There's going to be eight of them. Four long ones, four short ones. All right, our next step is we're going to go ahead and initially attach the loop portion of the canopy to our corresponding Velcro uh, piece. Uh, quick note, you want to make sure that all of the poles on your framing are loose. You're going to need these because you're going to need to roll the canopy on itself to tighten it. To start with, you're probably going to want to go ahead and attach your top flaps to your shorter horizontal sides. A little easier to attach those first. You can get one side if they're not as long. But I'm going to go ahead and show you here how to attach on the Velcro. So you've got your tops, your top flaps. You're simply going to put them on your Velcro, work your way down until you've got all eight posts attached. All right, I've got all eight of my flaps now attached. Now I want to go about rolling in the poles and the fabric in on itself. Uh, I'm going to start with the top. I'm going to tighten those. I'm going to start with my outside short horizontals, and then I'm going to do my long ones. All right, now I'm just going to roll this fabric in on itself until it's nice and taut. I want to make sure I don't take all the fabric away because it's still going to have to tighten on the other side. So I'm kind of pull it that way and then I'm just going to take my Allen wrench, make sure my poles are pulled in and I'm going to secure my pole. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I should be good to go. All right, I've secured the flaps on the top. I got it nice and taut and straight. Now I'm going to do the same thing on all my bottom horizontals. All right, I've gone ahead and tightened the short horizontal poles on my bottom. I haven't tightened my front and back because my next step is I wanna, I wanna go ahead and put the flaps on to my verticals. If I tighten all four sides, I'm not gonna give myself enough play to be able to get these, to get these attached. But I'm simply gonna to wanna to take this flap that's on your short side. I'm gonna to wanna to wrap it around the pole and I'm gonna take the flap that's on the front side and simply wrap it around to cover that hole all the way down. All right, I've gone ahead and secured my all my vertical poles. After I was done with that, I quickly just went ahead and tightened up the bottom poles on my front and back longer horizontals. My last step is to put on the wooden shroud on the outside, which will give a little more added stability to the frame. And other than that, you're good to use your Haven bed.